everyone, and welcome to the women's Euro Volley competition for 2023. Today, in Bulgaria is taking on Romania. My name is Key Michael. I'm excited, as always, to be your host for this matchup. The teams, as you can see, arrived just about an hour ago. The Palazzetto dello Sport Gianni Asti in Torino, here in Italy. Both these teams will be hoping to make it out of full play for the chance to compete in the finals of this year's Eurovolley, which will be held in Belgium on September 1st and 3rd, live on Eurovolley.tv. Well, soon we'll hear from one of the players from each of these teams as they give us a bit of insight, a bit of perspective on the match ahead of us. These two teams have met 12 times in international competition. It was Bulgaria to come out on top nine times to three. There's Mira, Mira Todorova, one of the veterans of the game, bringing her own fitball. You had an outstanding tie-break win yesterday on tonight, another fundamental game uh, in this Pool B. How do you feel and uh, what are your expectations for this game? Uh, yes, for sure uh, tonight we'll have a strong opponent, Bulgaria, and uh, we are ready for it. We are looking forward for this game and we are trying to do our best, for sure. First match for Bulgaria after the loss from Italy. A very important day today, a uh, game against Romania. How have you prepared? I think that we are really good prepared for this game. For sure it will be hard to play against Romania. We know this team very well. And um, I hope that we're going to celebrate after the, this game. Well, both teams hoping for a celebration after this game. But the last time these two teams met was in 2017 in the World Championship qualification when Bulgaria won 3-0. But it has been six years since those teams competed in an official competition, so a lot has probably changed. Both these two teams are part of Pool B as they get ready in the locker room, <laughs> filming each other, a little inception. And this is one of the best parts about being on a team is you get to sort of hang out in the locker room beforehand and sort of get that energy going and you get to decide what music you listen to, what kind of energy, what kind of vibes. And it looks like these two teams are both having a great time. Hello and Hello. welcome to the well, the captains I wish you a good match and good 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 met good just so recently. There to just do the to to coin toss. Service. Thank you and enjoy the match. And on we go. Bulgaria taking on Romania. Here in Pool B, which also includes Bosnia, Herzegovina, Croatia, Switzerland, and the hosts, Italy. There are 24 teams in the competition, and over the next couple of weeks, 76 matches will be played throughout Belgium, Italy, Estonia, and Germany. Quarterfinals and semifinals will begin on August 26th, and there's some more matchups of the day. Here's the pool as it stands. Italy right there on top, Bulgaria in the second position. But of course, a couple of teams right there, Romania, Switzerland, and Bosnia-Herzegovina, both, all three of them have two wins and two losses. So a pretty important matchup here today. Bulgaria, they've had a full summer already competing in the VNL, traveling over the span of six weeks to Japan, China, Korea to face the best teams in the world. The team finished 13th in the standings out of 16 total teams, only winning two of their 12 matches. They didn't make it to the final eight tournament held in Dallas, Texas in the USA, but that doesn't mean they haven't had a little bit of rest, a little bit more rest than some of the other teams that get prepared for this Eurovolley tournament. That might've paid off. They've already won two of their three matches, started with a 3-1 win over Croatia, followed by a 3-1 win over Bosnia-Herzegovina. But they did lose Saturday to host Italy, 3-0. After two days off, they are back to face this strong Romanian side. Romania, well, they played their opening match in the Arena di Verona, the open-air coliseum, which was the most awe-inspiring backdrop for a volleyball match that I think I've possibly ever seen if you didn't get a chance to watch it, I highly recommend going back and watching it on YouTube or Eurovolley.tv. A couple of the players you're going to want to watch out for, Rodica Buteres, the outside hitter, 24 years old for Romania, best outside hitter in the Romanian League 2022. Adelina Budai Ungurianu, 
Well, she's the 23-year-old outside hitter, was the top scorer in their slim loss to Switzerland recently with 25 points. On the other side for Bulgaria, keep an eye on number five, Maria Jordanova, the best server of the VNL in 2023. She was also pretty high score last time. Bulgaria lost to Italy. She had eight points, the closest to getting double digits on the entire team. Number 17, Marinova. Well, she had seven points in that last matchup. She's the 24-year-old opposite. Well, for Romania, there's the rest of the lineup. As mentioned, they lost to Switzerland, but there was a top-scoring performance by Elizabeth Ine with 23 points. Villan had three blocks. Romania looking in really good form. They're going to be a tough opponent here for Bulgaria, who again lost to Italy last time they were out. Three players were able to score an ace each, but tougher serving is going to be so important to slow down the Romanian offense today. Mira Todorova had two blocks in that performance. She's their veteran middle blocker. It's going to be crucial. Well, out comes Romania. They were not able to take a set off host Italy, but they have some had some better luck since. They beat Croatia 3-1, lost to Switzerland 3-2, then pulled out a big five-set victory over Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's going to be a quick turnaround. They're taking the court again today, but it's an important match. This one could cement one of one of these two teams will be cemented in the pool. And it's fact, I believe that was Romania coming out and now Bulgaria coming out. They're in a better position. They do still have one more match to play after this. And they're sitting in the second position in the pool. They could keep it with a win today. Romania could steal it. This is Romania's fifth and final pool play match. So win is going to be crucial if they want to have a possibility to advance. Well, there you go. It's Bulgaria taking on Romania. But first and foremost, let's listen in to the national anthems.
Well, now the handshakes of the coaches as the anthems are out of way. Handshakes and hugs. These coaches knowing each other well. A lot of respect, especially between these two head coaches, Lorenzo Michelli and Guillermo Naranjo Hernandez on the Romanian side. Well, Romania, for them, it's their 27th participation in this European Championship. Their only podium finish was a third place in 1963. Despite hosting in 2021, they lost all five of those matches. They are looking for a much better finish here today. Same for Bulgaria. Participated in 30 of the 32 previous European Championships, only failing co to compete in 1949 and 1951. And again, they are going to be looking to get out of pool play and get themselves in a position to get towards those quarterfinals. Here are the referees for today's match. Jan Rojic of Serbia and Maria de las Olas Rodriguez Vacin of Spain. We're just about ready to meet the starting sixes. So here we go, the Romanian team in the blue jersey coming out first. Starting with number three, Rodica Buteres, the 24-year-old outside hitter. Raiza Juan, the 25-year-old middle blocker. Elizabeth Inevarga, number seven, 24-year-old opposite. She was huge in the last matchup. She's going to be one of the go-to players, so keep an eye on her. Larina Luana Akinte, the 18-year-old setter, getting the nod. Roxana Diana Roman, 25-year-old middle blocker. And Adelina Budai Ungarianu, the 23-year-old outside hitter. We saw a little bit of her in the opener. Diana Varez will be wearing the libero jersey. She's only 21 years old. There's a confirmation of that lineup pretty much on par with what we've seen so far. Elizabeth in, a, in the opposite spot, a hugely important role she'll be playing to score some points as well as Ungrianu, the outside hitter number 19. Watch out for them. Head coach Guillermo Naranjo Hernandez at the helm. For Bulgaria, starting strong, Maria Jordanova, the 21-year-old outside hitter. Miroslava Paskova Kareva, 27-year-old outside hitter. Petya Barakova, 29-year-old setter. Mira Todorova, 29-year-old middle blocker. Borislava Saikova, 23-year-old middle blocker. Radostina Marinova, the 24-year-old opposite. And number 13, Mila Pashkuleva in the libero jersey, 19 years old. Coach Lorenzo Michelli, the head coach since 2022. There is Guillermo Naranjo Hernandez. He's also been at the helm since 2022, previously coached Greece. Next season headed to Galatasaray. Lorenzo Michelli, he's been the head here since 2022, previously with Estonia. He's the head coach in Olympiacos, previously with Le Cane in France. One of the sweetest coaches in the game. I've had to interview him a couple of times with VNL, and he's always Highly respectful and kind. Nothing but good things to say. Played against him as well in France. Well, here we go then. We are underway. Romania in the blue, taking on Bulgaria in the white here for this Pool B competition. And the first point, it's a quick one. Bulgaria straight back to the floor. Tough serve, does it tag the end line just out of bounds? So an aggressive serve from Saikova. Who actually played two seasons in Romania, so she'll know a lot of her opponents well on the other side. Larina Luana Axinte. 
The Alba Blage player looking for her end line. Does she catch it? Question still being asked. Nope, don't think so. So on we go. Two to one. Radinka. Marinova. Finds the sideline. Ball behind, tipped over, kept alive, but out of the play. Vashkaleva looked like she was there in a good position. Creeping in for that, but the blockers reaching backwards, which is always something you advise your, your blockers against doing. 2-2. Two -two. Ball behind, Todorova, yes, quick score. Todorova, best spiker of the Swiss League in 2018. But she's been about around since my playing days as well. And I can tell you, going up against her, she is a tough one to block. She sees all the angles really, really well. Romania off the hands. High ball behind. Push into the corner, Marinova. Finds a way to get it done. Doesn't have to be the hardest driven ball, but have a look at where she's placing that. She sees the defenders are a little bit crept in as they just watch that ball fall to the end line. Ball's a little out of system for Romania. Doesn't matter, the tip is thrown. Here comes the pipe. Well kept up. In there, into the middle of the honey pot. Another one goes off the hands. Romania keeping it alive. Good dig. Chance behind. And a 5-2 lead. A few points already coming off the hands of Marinova. As she goes down the line that time. That's a beautiful switch up out of her. So it's not just about how hard you can hit or where you can place the ball. It's about changing every single time. Make the blockers guess what you're going to be doing. Good response and a timely one at that from Romania. They needed to get out of that point scoring run on Bulgaria's side. A great ball in from Ungrianu. And a quick slice on the outside. Buterez. Played in Targoviste, Romania last season. Headed to Potsdam next season. Three-point advantage. Todorova. Gets Romania off the net. Into the hands, kept up. Maranova again to swing, but she's dug. There comes Ungrianu. And it's been a, a few points since she's been able to get involved in the match, which is unusual for Romania. She's usually one of the go-to players early days. So she gets that dig in the backcourt, and then she's opening up some space. A couple of blockers are up against her, but she finds that really deep shot far from the blockers. The response. Paskova Kaneva, the captain of Bulgaria, finds a way to get it done. She was the MVP of the Bulgarian Cup in 2021. Shoots that down the line to Ine. 7-4. To Deep corner, handled well. Ine, she's dug. High ball becoming back to Marinova. Can't get it done. But another try. And that's great teamwork. Paskova Kaneva with the final blow. Great pick up there as well. Paskuleva reading that so well as she's covering, giving Bulgaria an opportunity to go again, recycling that ball. And I think I hear a timeout coming. I don't understand why you're bunch when this cup of four, the ball is pushing front, and you're late shuffling like this. They're going to go for you. You have to go quick. 
Don't bunch. Okay. Quick ball. When the setter is close the net, go diagonal. Okay. Hey, middles, remember. When it's kappa four, kappa seven, she play long distance back, guys. Eh? Slide a little more diagonal. We leave that open. Eh? And remember that with 17, guys, we are not staying nine unless it's quick ball. Eh? Out of six, the back row one, we have to go long. Well, you heard as well as I did from Coach Guillermo Naranjo Hernandez speaking in English to his players. And I feel it's a benefit and also a curse because we get to hear in and know what's going on. But if anyone is scouting, any of the other team might be scouting, they now know that Romania is blocking diagonal on the slide. They're leaving that line ball wide open. So that information pretty much golden. But a free ball, meanwhile, landing on Bulgaria's side. Three players standing watching. That'll have to be addressed immediately as an overpass forced, but not capitalized. Good change, Marinova on the outside in that rotation. She was the best opposite of the Bulgarian League in 2020. Finds the space between the blockers. There's just enough between the hands there. Guillermo, not happy about that response. And it's always interesting to watch the dynamic between the coaches and the players because they're on the same team. At the end of the day, they have the same goals but what's in the coach's mind about how things are going to pan out and they plan this whole tactics and all of these strategies. But as you can see there, Guillermo again throwing his hands in the air because his strategy might have been, I want someone on that tip. So watch it again. Two blockers are closing and there's just enough space there in the honeypot as Yorinova finds it. And the trouble is there's somebody there, but whose ball is it? That's got to go back to the tactics and the plan. From all the way off the net, another big rip, this time cross court from Jordanova, best scorer of the world champs under 19 in 2019. Well, Saikova, a little too close to the line that time. So point goes directly back to Romania, 11. As Bulgaria, seven as Romania. So still a four point lead for Bulgaria, but Romania have done a couple of things already that are looking good. Good pick up off the block. Ball behind, into the hands, recycled. Chance behind, Ine, looking for the end line or some kind of fingertips. Will there be a challenge? Nobody looks 100% convinced of it. Well, I'm looking at Mira Todorova's face and that looks a little bit guilty if you ask me. Don't think the Romanian team were 100% convinced, but Sometimes you get a little bit lucky. And Ine, she's a great player by all accounts. One of the top scorers of the last match when Romania went five sets with Switzerland. They weren't able to pull out the win. But what they were able to do was get a lot of points on the board. And it was Ine who did a lot of the damage there. She had 23 points. Adelina Budai Ungriano had 25. Some impressive action at the net. There it is. There's that little touch from Todorova. You kind of had a feeling when you saw her turn around with that cheeky little smile. But at the end of the day, cameras are everywhere and you can't get away with the same tactics and dramatics as we used to back in our day. Acting skills don't really mean that much anymore. 11, closing the gap. I can say. 
Oh, what a stuff. What a huge block. That is exactly what Romania needed to get themselves feeling good now. Great serve. It's the ball out of system, so the blockers move really quickly. They know exactly where that ball's going. And you see number 14, Roman, with a really aggressive block over the net. Well, Lorenzo Michelli thinks there might have been a net touch to go along with that big block. It looked relatively clean from where I was sitting. But we will get that slow motion replay. The player's doing a good job to close themselves up there. But Michelli's going to use this as a chance to remind his players of the tactics, some strategies. This is the sign of a good coach. They're not using, they're not wasting any time. These are all precious moments to give valuable bits of information. And usually what I like out of a coach is positive forward thinking. Not telling the team what they're doing wrong or what they're missing. More like, hey, here's what's open. Here's what I want you to remind you. This, we're blocking line on this player, not cross. Watch out for that really short serve from this player. Just really give tiny bits of information that the players can grasp onto and focus on in a positive way. That's what I've always gotten the best out of from coaches. And I think both these coaches are on par with that kind of strategy. Let's have a look. There's the block. Looks clean to me. Beautiful block. In fact, sometimes it's great to see that slow motion. Roxana Diana Roman with a perfect finish over the net, just putting her arms, taking away the angle. Ball goes directly into it and down. That's what we call a textbook block. So two points in it between these two teams. Great ball in. Pipe coming. The dig is kept alive. High ball behind for Ine. She's dug. Ball outside again. Good line up in the block. Picked up tip from Ungrianu. The pipe converts. Doesn't stay up. Another tip is dug. Chance on the outside. And eventually, top scorer, Adelina Budai Ungurianu, who was crucial for the team in the last matchup. She first of all is comes sprawling in to get the tip. And then she gets back out on the next opportunity and slices it past the inside arm of Todorova. Great finish there. Ungurianu has played in Italy in Busto Cuneo, and it's a Pinarolo for the next season. Ball is in for Bulgaria. Good change of direction from Todorova. But it's in it to finish it off. Romania finding their footing here in this first set. Ina Varga, best scorer, best server, and best opposite of the V-League. 2023 in South Korea last season and have a look at how the way that she just goes full guns blazing on that ball. Ties up the teams, 11-11. Looking for the end line. Romania's coach asking for a challenge, no challenge, yes challenge. Let's have a look then. Well, there's no way to know for sure. And the difference here is during the VNL, you know the coaches, or excuse me, the referees have an immediate video representation of the ball in or out. So the call, ball in, ball out, really isn't challengeable in that competition. But in this competition, it's just the referees, no line judges making that decision. So that ball in, out will get a chance to look at it. No, was out. Twelve eleven, Bulgaria. Radostina, aka Radinka Marinova, looking for the corner. Finds Ungrianu. 
Ine has a big rip on the outside, and that's what's so powerful about her in particular. No matter where you put her on the court, she is a threat. So this ball is high to the outside, a little off the net. Even so, she puts so much arm swing onto it, and you see her entire body contracting to put that ball into the corner. Gurianu puts some heat on it. Roll into the middle, well read. High ball outside. Into hands, recycled again. Chance for Ine on the backside this time and again. I feel we're going to be saying her name a lot. And what's interesting is that in the early parts of this matchup, we didn't see a lot out of Ine. We didn't see a lot out of Ungarianu. And that's got to be because the setters were trying to involve more attackers. They know, Bulgaria knows as well as we do, those are the two big scorers. They're going to be keyed in on them. But even so, still finding a way to score. Not that time, though. Blockers. Bulgaria setting up nice and early on that free ball. Todorova making a move quickly, not being sold up the river with the middle blocker. And often when there's an, a free ball, middle will commit with middle. Looks like not in this situation. Going to stay with the opposite. Well, that's an unfortunate error. Sinte doing the best she could. That ball a little bit tight for her liking. <laughs> Romania's substitution box having fun over there. Well, now it's Bulgaria having all the fun. Starts with a tough serve, not too far out of system though. Maxinte just only having to take a tiny little step and still using her middle, just goes wide. Another good ball in from Ngurianu. There's the tip response from Ine. Elisabetina Varga was the best scorer of the Hungarian Cup in 2020. Have a look how she disguises that. The blocker is up, ready for a really hard driven ball. Barakova as well, on her heels, not expecting a tip. That's the moment to put it in. Great ball in from Pashkuleva. Ball kept in play. The roll into the block. And Barakova can celebrate the setter. 29 years old, has a Champions League medal with Alba Blaj in 2018. Played on that Romanian team there, so she knows a lot of these players as well, really well. Just enough to get that, that block and get Bulgaria back to a two-point lead. bit of a delay in the game. For what? I'm not sure. There's the whistle. It is. Puts a good ball in, but the response is adamant. Bulgaria are on a mission to finish this set. Couple of blocks in a row this time. Shutting down Buterez on the outside. Seventeen to fourteen. Todorova down the middle to Ngrianu. There's the line shot. I like that change up out of Buterez. Got blocked cross. Second time of asking goes down the line over her shoulder. Only problem is runs out of real estate just ever so slightly. Timeout called. Timeout called. 
side, then you can go the, the line higher. She jumping, you can also make a short people. Romania, Romania's coach, Guillermo Naranjo Hernandez, not giving away any tactics this time. I do feel a little bit for the coaches having to have the microphone in the timeouts. We love it because we get an inside perspective of what's going on, but the only problem is the entire rest of the volleyball community can hear it as well, including all of the statisticians and all of the ears that are listening in from the opposition. 18 to 14. Down the line, Venez puts a good ball to the center of the court and the tip works again. A couple of times now. Romania has been having some success with that, especially after two blocks. And interestingly enough, you see one of the players of Romania, or excuse me, of Bulgaria, ready, coming in, watching it, sees that that's going to be the next option. A little bit too far in. Maranova bringing some heat. Maranova has played in Evro, France. Also played one season at Long Beach State. She's in Paris now for her professional career. Well, there's a challenge in place. It's 15-19. The challenge is ball in or out, Romania wants to know. We'll have another look at that. Close, but it's totally in. So the challenge was in fact unsuccessful as it was Romania asking for that ball to be out. On we go, Bulgaria. Petja Barakova, ready to serve. Two-time winner of the European Golden League in 2018 and 2021 with Bulgaria. Finds the side of Perez. Dig coming back. Tedder puts it high outside, down the middle. Chance again for that tip. It's thrown. Setters out. Maranova. She's sent back. Another opportunity higher this time. And Maranova looking for the hands of the blockers. Now she gets two balls in a row this time. Has to go down the line. No touch called by Romania. Sixteen, nineteen. Balls off the net. Setters put it up high to the outside. Free ball opportunity. Scrambles off the net. And Bulgaria get back into it. Yes, they can make something out of nothing. A tough spot there as that free ball is coming over. The middle's ready to take it, but it tickles the net and it just makes it so difficult to read. Right here, two players are in place to play it. And almost a fumble. Sixteen to twenty. Can Romania get back in this set? High ball to the outside. Doug, Rianu, will she get it back? No, it's Inna going cross. Sends an overpass. This time, Ungrianu throws it. She's Doug. Maranova again trying, not yet. Ungrianu off hands or off the net. No touch called. Well, both teams doing some fantastic defense to kept, keep the ball alive. Ultimately, Ngurianu trying to find the angle. Walker's well-placed to slow her down, but it's the net. 
the only one to touch it. 21-16. Paskova Kaneva with her serve. Madinova goes heavy and hard down the line. Only 186 centimeters going up against Ungurianu, who's 187, so nothing in it in the height differential. Just power and precision out of the opposite. Couple of changes on Romania's side. In comes Anna Radu. 21-year-old setter playing in Bucharest, Romania. Good push back immediately. Idona Zadorozhnai, the 22-year-old opposite. First point. That works out well. Had a little something to say through the net as well after it. Always a little bit of chirper between the players. All know each other well. Good throw. Maria Yordanova. Doesn't have to do much. Just pushes just over the hands of the middle blocker. And out of the reach of Buterez. Well left, Romania. Well, neither team with any aces just yet. The errors creeping up. Bulgaria have given up four errors. Romania have given up five. A couple of them coming from the service line. That double sub reversed. Akinte back into it. Best setter of the Balkan champs under 19 in 2022. Has only ever played pro in Romania. Goes for a tough serve. Targeting Pascaleva. Block is good. A second touch from the libero. But Romania. Romania. How do you pronounce that? Romania or Romania? Either way, Romania and Ungurianu with a strong, aggressive block. Look at the face of her hands. They're going directly back down and into the court. Timeout called. Couple of things Michelli is asking of his team. Michelli, who's been coaching since 1993, he's been around the block a while. Coached with developers Szesza in Poland, in Modena, Italy, Zajabashi in Turkey. So a fair amount of experience under his belt. 19. Serving 23, there's the overpass. Oh, well dug. Kept alive. Bulgaria to go again. That's still in play. Ine coming from the right side, and it's too tough to handle. Paskova Kaneva catching it, ting it. Great pushback. Really good width there for Ine. Again, she played in South Korea. Next season, headed over to. Chemik Police in Poland. And another point goes back to Romania. They keep themselves in this match, in this first set. Starting with that tough serve from the setter. And 
Yordanova trying to find some angle, but instead finds the floor outside the court. Timeout called. Then in contra-attack, the same situation. Eh? I want all of you, all of you far, and be ready to back from four. Eh? Okay, this is the first. Already we keep the rhythm for reception. Bravo. Because they have to keep the goal. We know this is the service. What we have to stay in front a little bit longer from the beginning. Passion. We are the passion. Okay, there is no hurry. Okay, there is no hurry. They are open then. If you have the block there, you can do also in the middle. Like, I don't have it. Here, here, here. I love that positive energy in the timeout. He's just saying have a bit more patience. Romania has scored the last four points in a row. So I feel there's a little pressure building on Bulgaria, but we still have a two-point lead. They've done well to keep that ball in the reception in a good position, so they're still running things in the offense. Just have to know that they don't have to score the first point. They can recycle the ball. They can go again, not to get too hurried. Well, speaking of hurrying, Romania stealing some points, and it's the setter, Larina Luana La Axinte, who finds the end line beautifully between two players, one of them, Lovero Pascaleva. So the pressure building as Romania back to within one here in the first set. Axinte again. Finds the same spot, well handled, off the net. Better situations, gotta be a free ball. Doesn't come though. Matanova eventually gets the set point for Bulgaria. Well, there's the swing, not into zone six, but higher into hands. And that brings up set point or the 24-year-old opposite to the service line. Well handled by Mirianu. And even better from Elizabeth Enavarga. Three-time Hungarian Cup winner. I like that ball in from Ungrianu. The setter barely has to move, so she's able to spread the offense as she likes. Feeds it up high and wide outside. Set point opportunity. Can Bulgaria finish it here? Will Romania tie it up in it? Will decide. Tight joust at the net. Oh, the whistle's blown. Which way is it going? It's going to Romania. Well, a huge fight gets Romania back to striking distance. Great coverage in the backcourt, and we'll have a look at this. There it is, Todorova, arms in the net. Point goes to Romania, and then back to Bulgaria from an error in the serve. Set point again. Can Bulgaria finish it off? Tough serve. Doesn't end just yet. Ball's still in play. High ball to the outside. Rolled into system. Ball behind to Ine. There's the block. And that's a beautiful read by Todorova. And Paskova Kaneva. There's the roll. You see Romania has all the options. Todorova leaves early. Says, I know where this ball's going. It's dying a little inside, and all she has to do is get her arms over the net exactly where she is. And that is the set done. Bulgaria, one set. 26-24. What a fight back from Romania. It looked like Bulgaria had that in the bag. There at one point, they were four or five points ahead. And yet Romania was not going to say no. There are the blocks, four to two. Only one ace, and Romania had it. Eight errors apiece. So pretty even Stevens as far as the statistics go. Here's a look at where Bulgaria was serving. Right there on the right side more often than not. 
And they were targeting. They were really targeting one player in particular. I think I saw more often than not that zone. And Adelina Budai Ungariano was there. Sometimes the libero was there. What they were doing was really trying to find that right side of the court. Romania, well, they were serving a little more spread out. That one serve, that green ball. In Well, there are some more numbers to digest. Two of the top players, Marinova for Bulgaria and Ine of Romania, pretty much neck and neck in the points. Seven for Ine, six for Marinova, but they're one of the top scorers for their team. Important so far, specifically for Bulgaria to finish it off there at the end. But I like that Romania started to, well, they did try to get other players involved in the first half of that set, but it wasn't really the strategy that was paying off. So they just, the center went back to feeding Ine and Ungurianu, and that brought them back into striking distance in the first set. So I wonder how they will start off in terms of personnel and also in terms of strategy. Do you keep feeding the players that are hot or do you try to establish other players in the game so that you don't have to rely so heavily on just one or two players? That's my question for Romania. Let's see the answer. As we get underway with set number two. Bulgaria still in the white, this time on the right side. Serving Romania in the blue on the left and the first point goes to Romania. You see the frustration there on Micheli's face. As that was almost an overpass, but Axinte turns it into a joust. Axinte looking for the corner, but instead finds a player. That ball high and deep and almost impossible to return with their platform. You have a feeling that right there, number six. Miroslava Paskova Kaneva might have wanted to take her open hand to pass that ball in. But instead, it's a two point lead for Romania. Ball outside into the block, kept alive. Outside going again, this time off the block. A good amount of patience out of Yordanova. And that's what Micheli was talking about earlier. When we had listened into the timeout, it doesn't have to be the first time that you touch the ball is when you score the ball. If you don't feel it, if it's not the set that you want, just roll it into the hands of the blockers. Let your team cover around you, recycle, and go again. When you get a better set, swing a better ball. Gurianu, she liked that set. Gurianu, part of some of the winning teams for Romania so far. She's got that European Silver League gold medal in 2019, European Golden League bronze medal in 2022. Been an important part of this Romanian squad for several years already. She serves that tough down the middle, but still a good ball in for Bulgaria. A little bit tight, if anything. And that gives Romania the advantage. That 
that long back by Barakova, but Marinova finding it a little too wide for her liking, and Tenna gets in the way. Oh, what a serve. Ace serve, Romania. Adelina Budai Ungrianu. A staple now in the Italian league for a few seasons so far. Gets a really short and sharp down the line. And now cold. We start from the beginning. Ace, not deep, no a penalty. There, out, ball out, ball out. What we are doing? Where you are? Deepest in one free ball, we cannot deepest. What we start? So you let to them to believe. You let them to believe. No, this is this is the way, yeah? Come on, die, 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 die. I think Coach Michelli is not super happy with the way that Romania have started this match. Don't seem to have quite the determination they did in the first. So a couple of times he's saying those balls were out, those serves were out. Why are you reaching for them? I think that that last ace in the end of that last set might have been lingering in the minds of the receivers here in the first part of the second set. That one goes off the net. Still in play. Radinova puts one on the Romanian side. The response from Ine. Another high ball outside. Tipped into the hands, but no coverage. And that's got to be frustrating. Jordanova doing pretty much the best she can there. That's not the set that she wants. And this is exactly what we're talking about. The ball is up. It's out of system. She doesn't want to swing at four big hands in front of her, so she's tipping into the net. Her team has to be covering her on that. Better swing this time. Yordanova pulling no punches the second time around. Yordanova's also spent some time playing in Romania. Goes through the blockers there. She'll play in Paris. Professionally. Short ball. What a response on the outside. Romania. Guterres taking some aggression out on the ball. Left a lot of line there. Have a look at how much space there is between the antenna and the blockers. As Barakova reaching inside, leaving a lot of line for Buteres to swing. Another tip, doesn't go. Ine has to send a freebie. There's the good communication on who's gonna take that, leaving Todorova free to swing. Responds with a touch in the block, still coming back. And eventually, Bulgaria have the last say on that point. Things not looking quite as smooth for Bulgaria. But that's a really good bring back into play from Barakova. She just turns and reacts. Jordanova gets some help from the net. Ball behind to Inna, big stuff block. Todorova again teaming up with Paskova Kaneva. Well, Todorova, we talked about her early on and how she's a veteran of the game. And what she does so well is close her block. I remember thinking this about her when we played against each other. Even if she took that little step in the other direction, she's going to get there. She is so fast. Guterres capitalizing on some space underneath the block cross court. The block is there in a good position. Paskova deciding that ball must have been out. It wasn't. In it. Goes short. Todorova into a big block, and it's Romania. We're having a lot of luck at the moment. Working the net. Starts with a good serve. And that ball dying just a little bit inside Todorova. Swinging cross into the block. And a 9-4 lead for Romania. Couple of changes for Bulgaria. 
Vangelia Rachkovska coming into the mix. The 26-year-old outside hitter. She's played in Italy, Poland, and Ankara in Turkey. Another set to Todorova. This time, the tip throw. And that's what you're going to get out of a veteran. She gets blocked one time. And what I love is that the setter feeds it back to her a second time in a row. And that's a tough set. Look how far forward she had to come. But still, it's high enough. It's a wide enough that Todorova is able to see the other side of the court, read what's happening with the blockers, and just find that empty space on the court. to serve. Backcourt attack called on Romania. Gives a freebie back to Bulgaria. Very close, but yes, foot on the line. Unlucky, because they did catch defenders sleeping. In it, into hands and out. In it, a power player. In it has been one of the go-to attackers. Loves to go off the block. Can pretty much hit just about over anybody if you get that high enough ball. Puteres. Finds the net. Tight ball is going to be an over. Barakova doesn't want to wait to joust. Gets up early, grabs it, throws it right back down. So that ball coming off the net. You can see the blockers were ready. What I like from Barakova there. She's early and changes the direction of the ball. She's won the Yeltsin Cup twice. Ungrianu. You see Romania trying to run some combination plays there. The middle running fast in front, trying to hold the block. Does maybe a little bit. And another tip lands. Bulgaria have been finding some rhythm on those tips. This time it's Saikova. She was the best middle of the Romanian league in 2021. And have a look at the precision there. Just a gentle little touch. She knows that the blockers are taking up the net and the defenders are on their heels. Romania out of system again. Still get a good play on it. Into hands and way out of bounds. Enough of heat on that from Madinova. Get that to go way out of bounds. Have another look. It's from off the net. Inside comes powering through. The blockers will know if they had just kept that arm, that inside arm really strong and facing down. That potentially could have been a stuff block. Rechkovska. Back to serve. Part of that European Golden League winning team in 2021. Finds Ungranu. She finds the floor over the block. I want to see that one in slow motion again. A good ball in. A lot of speed, a lot of precision. Goes straight through the hands, right between those two blockers. Look from where I was sitting that it might have been over the block. It was so quick, but ind indeed it is just finding that angle perfectly done. Another good block. What a rip! Madinova finds her rhythm from the side. She got that ball wide enough, high enough, and uses just a full windmill of an arm to beat the middle blocker in that space. 10 serving 12.
Well, there haven't been a whole lot of service errors. But you know as well as I do, the more aggressive you start to serve, the more that risk serve takes place. Quick through the middle, Todorova reminding the Romanians of her veteran status. Mira Todorova was the best blocker of the Romanian League in 2023 where she will play it against and with a lot of those players over there. Still a three-point lead. Roxana Diana Roman. Sends that long. Roman won or got the bronze medal in the CEV Cup in 2022. No luck on that serve. Bulgaria back at it to within two. Down the line. There's the pipe. Good rip, but the dig is good. And the response still alive. There's the roll. Ashkaleva eats it up. And the roll this time, Rachkovska. Well, reading the room is Rachkovska. A couple of times blocking has been Romania's strength so far. So instead, hit that roll shot, get the confusion, the miscommunication between a couple players, and it finds the floor. Yodanova goes long. <laughs> Elizabeth Inavarga, tough serve down the line. Another shot comes off Todorova's hands. He's looking through the net. <laughs> I love that. Some conversation between the players. It doesn't have to be bad natured either. Again, as I mentioned, Sodorova did, did play in Romania last season. So there might be some teammates, friends on the other side. Looking for a net touch. Bulgaria has made the challenge and the confidence level looks high on Todorova's face. Todorova's played in Stuttgart, Germany, in Cannes, Le Canet, Volero, Zurich, all over the place. And of course in Romania as well. So a lot of experience, plenty of years to know whether or not your opponent has touched the net. But again, We've got the cameras in place, so no need for any kind of theatrics or acting skills for these players anymore. It used to be get away with just enough protestation. Is that a word? Protestation? Protesting? You know what I mean. Nowadays, the cameras are there. It's taken a while though, so I do wonder it's a little difficult to see. Again, this is a crucial matchup between these two teams. One of these teams could potentially clinch second place with a win here. If Bulgaria were to win, but get one step closer to making it to the quarterfinals. Romania lose. This is their last chance to play. Let's have a look. There it is. Just there at the last little touch of the hand. 
And it is Bulgaria to take the point. Bulgaria ties it up, 15 to 15. Todorova still at the line. Some scramble play at the net. High ball behind, in it to swing. Does she find some hands? Yes, she does. Well, Romania have given up their lead, but they are not out of this set just yet. Good wide set, getting the one-on-one. -on -one. Tedez. Catching out, 12 got low. Another opportunity from the free ball. Was there a touch? Well, it looks like there was. 17 to 15. After the free ball not handled super well on Romania's side. Back to Libero, Diana Verez. Not able to put the ball on the setter's head, and that's what you need to see out of a high-level team. Whenever there's a free ball situation, that ball has to be up exactly where the setter needs it, no matter what. Substitution reversed. Rachkovska back on the bench. Guterres to serve. Ball's pushed behind. Aggressive swing, but that's dug out of system. Nirianu to clean things up. They get a free ball again. That one's better handled. And in there, catching the one on one blocker off the net. Miroslava Paskova Kaneva. She's in a good position, but what she doesn't do is finish her arms over the net. And you have a look at it again in slow motion. Here's that free ball. Ball's pushed back and off the net just enough space she's turning with her body that that ball catches her hand and back down we are making confusion in the court we are making confusion in the court and everything is going we miss always one piece we have to be more together I think what Coach Michelli would like to see is just a little more clarity and communication between his players. If they can slow things down, play their game, really be clear about whose ball is which, and play that system well, then they'll be on their way to playing a better game. But when things start to get scrambly and awkward and confused, that's when one thing leads to the next and all sorts of pieces seem to be missing. Bulgaria did well to close up the gap there. They ended up at 15-15. But then Romania with the next three points. So now can Barakova 
do the same thing from the line. Goes down to the sideline. Through the middle goes Romania. Chance again this time, Ungrianu. She's dug, joust over at the net. Some scramble and the set is called on Ine. Ine just throwing her hands up in a reaction kind of play, but it, unfortunately it's a set with a little bit of spin on it. So I like that first try using the middle going again on the outside. More than a little bit of spin on that actually. 17-18, comes off the net, all behind to Inna to rip. Yeah, she does, cross court. I have to say, I think Inna will be the first to admit it. She's a better attacker than setter. Have a look at that, so much power cross court. The blockers are in place. Middle blocker, Krivoshitska. Closes to her outside, but that inside arm is what's important on these cross-court swinging players of Romania. Same thing for Madanova. She gets a lot of cross on that one. Oh, Madanova, we've seen her use line. We've seen her use the tips. On that time, she goes well past the block and deep into the corner. Guriano handles the first ball, handles the third one too. Great set from her teammate, Axente. I like that. They've been targeting Ungrianu in the reception. She's been holding her own and getting a, some really good spots for her setter. So that's a good push, a lot of width. Doesn't necessarily have the height that Ungrianu might need, but she beats the blockers with speed. Twenty to eighteen, two point lead. Romania, another tip. They get in and out of the offense, so that ball's going outside. Everybody knew it. Rungurianu delivers, nevertheless. Oh, Bulgaria do a good job to get this tip, so they get in and out of system or out of the play. You know she's not going to attack. The blockers of Bulgaria go all the way outside to Rungurianu. They're taking a really big amount of cross, but somehow she still manages to get underneath that inside arm. And I have a feeling that's gonna be some feedback from the coach. Get that inside arm really low and tight for the middle blocker of Bulgaria. Just like that, that's the way to do it. Roman and Ine, they're close to each other. But it's not just about where your body is placed when it comes to blocking, have a look. But the arms there of Roman. Her arm, inside arm, is lower than her right arm. That left arm cutting off the angle that Bulgaria's player wants to swing at. And that's what you need to do as a middle blocker. So we got a challenge. We're looking for a net touch. I'm not sure that Michelli 1000% believes there was a net touch, but again, Sometimes these challenges count just as a little extra time out. Chance for your team to have a breather, to refocus on the tactics and the plan and the schedule. Tactics and the Tic Tacs. Let's have a look. Nope, perfect block. Excellently executed. Romania, keep the point. And we go with the setter, Axinte, from the line. Goes deep down the middle. Finds Paskineva. Another chance into the block. Kept alive, Ine on the outside. Slice and dice. That one's got to feel so good. Well, if you're Bulgaria right now, it's a frustrating situation because Ine, we know how good she's been cross court. And as soon as you leave her line, look at the change up there. There's a barely a tiny sliver of space between her hand and the blockers, but she changes it with her wrist and her hand and just cuts that direction of the ball. That's Romania in a really good spot here. Five point lead. Aggressive serve. 
Bulgaria out of system. Still a swing comes. In it again. And in it to score. In it has been absolutely crucial so far. The number seven going OT on the block. Goes short and sharp to the deep. Set point, Romania. That one goes long, so a point goes in the direction of Romania. And the second set goes into the pocket of the team in blue. Tough serve to start it off. And the blockers, again, taking a good amount of space. They're forcing that error. So well performance, well, a good performance there for Romania in the second set. 26-24 was the first one. Bulgaria squeaking that one out. But eventually, Romania turning the tables. 25-18. A beautiful second set. Here's a look at how it was done. A couple more attacks. Three blocks to one. Two aces as well. Romania has been the only team to get an ace so far. A couple of errors on each side, but just a much better performance out of Romania. Hopefully we'll have a chance to speak to both of the coaches here in between the second and third set and they can give us an idea of what they're thinking and what's going on inside the teams. Coach, what did you like most about you have seen on the court? I think now we are much focused. I think uh, the first set was exactly the same like first set yesterday against Bosnia. Uh, it took us a long time to, to focus on the game and to get in the rhythm. Uh, and now I think we start serving well. We are more focused on the things we have to do. And, and I think we, now we are back in the game, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Coach, something went wrong during, during the second set. What do you expect for next set? Uh, also, they, they start to play in the good level. No? Also, they finish the second set, the first set in the in the good uh, the good way. We start very bad the, the 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 beginning in the beginning of the second. Now we have to keep uh, the level because during the set we, we was uh, going back. Uh, but we are very close, we are uh, near to close the gap, uh, but it's logical, you cannot start uh, minus five. Uh, this is, was the difference in this set. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Well, we love when we get to hear from the coaches, get a little bit of insight on what's going on in their minds, because we can only assume from the outside. But here's something you can have a look at, the stats. For the setter contact, one of my favorite stats that we get to have a look at. 20% is what Bulgaria got in that green circle, and that's pretty low. They're not able to run their offense. Have a look at that compared to Bulgaria. They did a better job of getting in that circle, but still somehow 
Romania was able to pull it out. So that's a good sign in terms of their, their overcoming that disadvantage. Bulgaria getting good receptions, good opportunities to score. And even though Romania were not able to put the majority of their balls in that green, green circle, they were using those high balls. We talked about Ine being really good at scoring from that high ball, and that's coming in clutch right now for Romania. Adelina Budai Ungurianu, one of the top scorers so far. She's got 11 points in that outside hitting spot. Yordanova only with five. So that's something to have a pay attention to. We saw the, the opposite versus opposite stats after the first set. Now we're seeing outside versus outside. And when you put that combination together, the high balls that Romania are able to use, they're just doing a better job of using those high balls. So they're out of system. They're not in a perfect position to use their middles or any quick plays or any combination plays. But when they're just flinging that ball up to the outsides and the opposites, they're performing more often than the same players on the side of Bulgaria. Coach of Romania also saying, just like their win yesterday in five sets over Bosnia and Herzegovina, it took them a little while to get warmed up, took them a while to get started and feel their way into that rhythm of the match. But now, I think it's safe to say, Romania are warm. They are ready mentally and physically to continue battling here against Bulgaria. While the applause continues, On we go. Set number three underway. Romania in the blue. Bulgaria in the white. And the first point, a freebie for Bulgaria. They'll be happy with that after starting pretty rough in the second set. If you remember that second set starting sort of like seven to two was the lead that Romania had at one point. Well, the tip throw, that's a good one. Again, switching up the offense, finding ways to score. Aggressive serve, does she nail it? Yes, sir. On the line, Adelina Ungurianu with the cross body. And that is perfection to the line from one corner to the other. All the aces have been on Romania's side. Goes for the other sideline, looking for the double duty. I like that change up. She will have seen that the defense is shifting a little bit to the right sideline, wants to change it to the other side. Not the execution just missing slightly, but the idea is right. In response, Bulgaria get themselves an ace. Much better handling by Ungrianu. But the big block responds. Monster block. Have another look at this. Starts with a tough serve to the corner. Two players up and over, and that's how it's done. Number 11, Krivoshitka. 21-year-old middle blocker throwing her arms over and in. Good pickup, high ball behind. Off the hands, handled easily. Chance on the outside, line is dug. Another swing 
from Bulgaria and goes just in front of the defense. So a great start, a good lead here for the Bulgarian side. Starts with that pick up down the line, beautifully done, sprawling out to keep things alive. And the response from Besheva, 25 year old outside hitter. Again, the block is strong. I like this changeup. We haven't seen a lot of her in the match so far, but her blocking has been changing the game. Have a look at the movement. Gets out there fast and early. And a timeout. Well, a lot of balls have been going to the outside. That's exactly what Coach Hernandez is saying to his setter. Hey, let's see one ball to the middle. They haven't been following the middle at all. The block has been closed, double blocked to all the outside high ball pins. So now let's try and switch it up and see if we can catch some space there in the middle. That ball high off the net has to go outside. Response goes long though. Madanova not able to find the court. Well, we didn't see a middle out of Romania that time, but it goes back to what we talked about with the statistics that we saw after that first set. Romania haven't been receiving perfectly. They haven't been getting great balls into the setter, and that's why she's not able to use her middle as opposed to that ball on Romania's or Bulgaria's side going perfectly to the setter. Nevertheless, a good read by the block of Romania. Guterres taking one step, throwing her arms over, cutting off the line. Another relatively good ball in. One step from the net goes Barakova. She can feed that ball fast to the outside. Top serving, but still that angle, short and sharp, almost three meters high. 7-4. Here comes Ine. She's dug. Maranova off hands. Well, she went a little long on that last one, switched things up, took a bit of heat off it. Brings it back down with her wrist contact, even from the bump set. She's inside, so she's using the block as well. That's not a perfect set for her. Look how far away from the antenna she is. But instead of swinging down into zone six, she swings high. Rivoshiska making a huge difference again, not just in her blocking, but watches that overpass. So it's a tough serve. That's exactly what you want as the serving side of Romania. Of Bulgaria, excuse me, timeout. Because she doesn't attack here. And you were here. It doesn't matter that the ball is short. She always gonna end up long, okay? You can take this touch. Guys, I don't understand. Guys, 17 diagonal, she cannot attack here. She cannot attack there. And also, like, we said long distance four, and we are late and reaching, and like, vamos, vamos. long distance, vamos. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Vamos, guys. Have a look at the point scoring. Bulgaria doing the majority of the point scoring there in the beginning, and a couple of points responded by Romania, but again, a long stretch of points out of Bulgaria. And what Coach Hernandez is saying, especially about the number 17, Madanova, when she attacks, she's not gonna swing directly down into the middle of the court. She's swinging high and deep and cross. So that's where he wants his defense sitting. Some speed to the outside. Guterres asking for a fingertip touch. Will we see it? There is a challenge.
Gutierrez was one of the top scorers yesterday against that Bosnia and Herzegovina match. She had 19 total points. Ina also with 19. Adelina Budai Ungariano had 23. So there are your three top scorers from yesterday, probably with some tired legs, having had just a turnaround from a five set match. They were able to pull out that win and that emotionally can be important. But at this high level, you're exerting so much energy for any given match that to play a match back to back, it's really, really tough. I cannot stress enough how much these athletes have to dig deep to find that energy and motivation physically and mentally to play every single match. So they'll welcome any little break in the, in the play, especially if it might potentially slow down the momentum of the other side. Chance to breathe, chance to rest the legs. There's the touch, block touch. I think I saw some movement there. Oh. I stand corrected. Maybe it's just a shadow. I think the, the players of Romania saw the same thing that we did. Well, they're not happy with that call and I can see why it did appear as though there might have been a touch on the ball there's no way we'll know for sure if that wasn't a shadow or a touch. But on we go. Bulgaria take the point, 10 to four. In a, no need to call for a touch there. That one straight to the sideline. Good push back and look at the width on that as well. So when that ball gets enough width and that's so important for the setters to know that they can give that to their players. Then she can go down the line. She doesn't have to be restricted to a cross-court attack. Good tip from Marinova. Romanian players just watching as it falls. Good serve to the sideline. Gets the setter off the net. And another chance for a tip there's two blockers up but there's a little bit of space there so the defenders have to kind of sit in that pocket of defense because it could have been a hard driven ball through the block well the point went to Romania I'm not sure what the call was Perhaps there was a touch at the net. I have to go back and watch that again. Six to 10. Great ball in. Through the middle. Well, we haven't seen a lot of middle action in the offense so far from either of these teams from Bulgaria. They're the ones getting the majority of the balls in the right spot. So that's the moment to use it. Beautifully finished. Again, it's Krivoshiska, the best spiker of the Bulgarian league in 2020. Good response out of Romania, middle for middle. Again, neither of these teams relying heavily on those quick attackers. And that's what could be an advantage for them now that none of the blockers on the other side are expecting it. You do end up with four hands up against the number five, Raiza Ewan. But she does great to go past them, high and deep. The response, another high ball. And again, the blocker is not perfectly formed, leaving that tiny bit of space there. As Axinte looks a little confused. Eight serving 12. Long swing. Goes just out of bounds. 
Blockers of Romania do a better job to close the gap. Go high and get in place on that block early. Force the error. Another good serve. Like that one going deep to the corner. The tip's there. Picked up by Ungarianu. Inez going off the hands. Another tip gets her on the floor. She can't swing. Pipe coming. What a smart play from the backcourt. I love that set to the pipe. There's some confusion there, so the blockers come off the net. But it's just enough to get the point. 10 12 timeout. <laughs> Bulgaria did so well to start this match strong. Now just a couple of things here and there, allowing Romania back into it. Coach Michelli asking again, just for more precision, more cohesion out of his team, just paying attention to those little things, taking care of the simple things. Todorova with the tip, well picked up. Romania, high ball outside, Ungrianu takes a go at it. Not done yet, but Bulgaria get themselves in a good position. Paskuleva just sacrificing her body to get the ball high. And her setter having to run forward. Not in a perfect place. But a good teamwork. 13-10. Bulgaria still on the move. Short down the line. Eyeball situation. Ungrianu goes into hands. There's the flick back to Ines. She's looking for the floor. Doesn't find it yet. Put some sweat on the ball. And an unforced ball handling error out of Todorova. Got to appreciate the pick up there. Barakova on the floor to make sure it's not going down. Back to within two. Good tip throw, but it's red. High ball for Ine. Looks for the sideline just wide. It's a good idea to go for that deep shot. She's not trying to swing her hardest on that one. She knows there's a couple of blockers up in place. Just searching for the sideline instead. Todorova, two-time European Golden League winner, back to serve. Ina again with the throw, easily read. Blocking is just wide. Romania with four hands over the net. Ungurianu. Very close to finishing that back inside. She's in a good position there to take that block. She's targeted again in the defense. Responds. Ball is up. The run down, not fast enough. Rodanova on the sprint. Have a look at this again. Quick swing. The dig is there. Yodanova going for it. The bench gets in the way. So 12 serving, 15. An aggressive swing. Romania still in play. A high ball, free ball. Where is this ball going to the middle? Yes, it is. Again, Krivoshiska, part of the offense now and a much more balanced offense on Bulgaria's side than we've seen in the past 
two sets. Great hustle play. Ungrianu forcing the situation, but because the setter's front row, you see four hands up with her instead of up with the middle blocker. And that's a communication problem. That should be just one blocker up, perhaps the right side blocker. The middle's got to stay with the middle on that. It Another error, freebie for Bulgaria, 17-12. Well, Ina has been relied on so heavily throughout the match. She's done a fantastic job. Top point scorer so far for her team. She's got 14 points. But when you rely too much on one player, you're going to start to have fatigue setting in. Good pick up. Romania again to Ine. She goes deep to the middle. Chance on the outside, going off hands. A good touch, but it's not left in play. And there's the difference for Bulgaria right now. They've brought in a couple of new faces. We're still seeing a lot of productivity out of Madanova. But Desheva on the outside. Goes off the hands, pretty much fresh legs. She's played all over the place too. Greece, Poland, Finland, Turkey, Romania as well. So she'll know these players well. She plays now in Cannes, France. She gets another high ball. Again for the hands. That's Doug in the back. Outside. There goes Buterez looking for the angle. But things keep rolling in the direction of Bulgaria. They're being much more patient now, allowing Romania to make the mistakes. Serve is handled fast and flat to the outside. High ball for Marinova. She's looking for a tip. Gets it again with the changeup. Again, all the players of Romania expecting a hard-driven ball out of her. Madanova now with 13 points she scored for her team. 20 to 12. Romania swinging high off the hands. Ball goes back to the outside. Cross court is dug by Vérez. And the pipe, not yet. Another opportunity, cross court. Bump set to the outside. And eventually, Buterez has a bit more luck to the cross court, finding Pasculeva. A couple of scramble plays, keeping that rally nice and long. But eventually, that inside ball, and you can see how far inside it is from the antenna. But Buterez finds the angle. Sorina Miklaus in for the serve, the 24-year-old outside hitter. Part of that European Silver League winning team in 2019. Free ball. Misconnection out of Romania, and another point goes in the pocket of Bulgaria. We've seen Romania now trying to force the middle in difficult situations. That's a perfect situation. Ball in the setter's hand. She gets it nice and high. Ayoan swinging a little bit early. Juan plays in Alba Blaj since last season. High ball back to Ine. The go-to continues to go. Well, it did the job, though. At least the middle blocker taking one step to the right, holding with the middle and the outside of the other team. Frees up the right side. Just a split second. That's all Inna needs to have a space in the block. He goes back to serve. 
Outside, ball comes back on Bulgaria's side, but some quick work at the net. Vivoshiska again. A Bulgarian League and Cup winner in 2023. Doesn't get that first attack, but have a look at this. She's up early, sees the ball in the air, reacts really well. Tanaradu. Back in the mix. The setter who helped win that European Golden League bronze medal in 2022. It's a double sub with the number 21 as well. Didona Zadorozhnai. Well, the double sub just enough to cause a split second of hesitation at the service line. Perez, who won the Romanian League in 2021. Heads back to serve. Goes down the line, great ball in. Use the middle, yes they will, but it's a little bit low. Barakova finds the right timing. But Iowan, knowing that the ball was gonna go to the middle, Bulgaria has been Trying to use the middle a little bit more as the match progresses and that perfect ball in was the moment to do it. So the one with the commit block on Todorova. We've got a challenge going for net touch. Bulgaria's coach Lorenzo Micheli asking questions of the blockers in Romania's side. Longer than usual. Here we go. Let's have a look. Todorova catches that a little bit low for her liking. The block is in a good position. I don't think I saw a net touch. Just a beautiful block out of Raizo Ioan. She also got a silver in the CEV Cup 2023. And no stranger to high level blocking. And the point stays with Romania, 16-22. Guterres at the line again. Goes for a deep one, no go. While Romania trying to serve aggressive, we know they've been doing that all match long. They've got four aces so far to prove it. Bulgaria still only with one ace. The tip attempt on the right side. Zadorozhnai catching the ball a little bit low. It wasn't the perfect set for her, and the blockers knew it. A little bit outside the antenna. She's not able to bring it back in. And that brings up set point for Bulgaria. Swing through the middle. What a time to use it. Iwan getting a good chunk on the ball. So it's 24-17. Good healthy lead for Bulgaria. Can they finish at this point? Ball's gonna go behind to Todorova into the block. Ball's kept alive. Again, some miscommunication. It's the libero to swing from below the antenna. From below. From below the net line, the libero with the last swing of the game, or at least of the set, followed up by a big block at the net. It's Barakova to put the final stamp on it. Cross court throwing her hands inside on Ungarianu. And that will do nicely. Bulgaria takes the third set.
Two sets to one. There's the score line, that last one finishing 25-17. Bulgaria just coming out, firing out of the gates in that last set. Not leaving anything to chance. Again, they're looking for that second place in the pool here. They can knock Romania out of the chance to move on if they win today. Here's how that last set was done. 12 attacks to eight, three blocks to two, one ace apiece, and a few more errors by Romania just Couple more creeping in there, but a much better performance out of Bulgaria. Here's Romania's attack direction. So again, a lot of balls going to the left and the right side. Those green balls going cross court. So the majority of the balls, in fact, going cross court. Down the line are those red balls. So from the right side, only one ball going down the line. On the left side, a couple more, but again, the majority of the balls going cross. Rom Bulgaria will know that and they'll want to slow it down. Have a look. Oh, we barely got a chance to look at it, but Here we go, libero versus libero. We very rarely get to look at the stats of those two players, but they're so crucial in terms of reception and digging. So look at that, 23% good receptions out of Pashkuleva. Verez, not so much, but she's doing good work in getting her team in a good position. I think it's Bulgaria who've been putting the ball on the net more often for their setter. For these two players highly important in the game of volleyball we often focus just on attacks and blocks so you've got you got to know that the first ball contact is one of the most important and the libero has a lot to do with running that game in the backcourt kind of establishing how the backcourt defense plays and how the reception sets up Set number four underway. Romania with a last chance effort to stay in this match. That's a great start for them through the pipe. Serving up Ungarianu on a platter. Todorova's up pretty much one on one there, taken off the cross court. But if you had a look at the stats from the last set, Romania were sending a lot of balls down the middle. They were going line more often than not from the center and diagonal more often than not. Great serve from Todorova. It's 1 1. Free ball picked up. Ball sent over, doesn't matter, the setter's still front court, so she can do that. Great run down by Todorova, kept alive. Another opportunity. Off the hands, though. Gurianu sending a tip at the middle blocker who's diving to keep it alive. That's always a good strategy, target the middle blocker who's just served. To the line. Into the hands. Huge block. Romania. And Axinte, a big part of that one. A 
Sinte, only one meter and 78, so one of the shorter blockers out there. In fact, the point went to Bulgaria. It was a block out. And a block out in response from Ine. Well, it looks like Michelli motioned for a challenge and then wanted to take it away. So the question is, did the ball touch the blocker on the way out? What do you think? What did you see? I think nine times out of 10, the block does touch the ball, or I should say the ball does touch the block. Even if it clips the net as well, chances are, if the block's in a good position and doing what they should be doing, which is penetrating over the net, chances are it's gonna hit those arms, even if it hits the net first. The question is, did that attack hit the blockers or did it just hit the net and go out? It definitely changed direction. Taking a while to see it though. Not a simple decision to be made. Here we go. Yes, sir, off the hands. Well, not the hands really, the, the elbow I should say of the blocker and then back. The point remains with Romania in the blue. Serve coming. And a good response from Bulgaria to keep themselves tied up here with Romania, who's been playing better ball this fourth set. Clever tip, one on one, just the tiniest of touches there on the right side. Three points apiece. High ball behind. In it again, but she goes into a big block. Bulgaria throwing arms over the net here at the CEV Eurovolley 2023. In has been one of the go to players and looked like she had a lot of space there. You see number 11 just a little bit late, Krivoshiska, but what she does so well, even though she's late, she takes away the space where she is and just goes tight over the net. Again, another good block. And the joust thrown. Marinova on the right side, finishing things off. But I have to say again, Maria Krivoshiska has done a lot of good work. There's the first ball. She sends it back in that right direction. And then she's moving across the net laterally with a lot of speed and a lot of precision. Elena Besheva. Goes down the line again, finding Ungurianu. They're trying to tire her out, that's for sure. Ball outside goes into a big block. Does it land in? No, sir. Jordanova this time. Starts with a good pickup down the line, just sprawling to keep it alive. Eyeball situation. Off the block and out. Until we don't understand that we have to push the, the liabilities that they have, it's hard, eh, guys? We have to go for number nine. Eh? We have to go for number nine. She cannot pass. But we need to serve. We serve the libero. We serve, eh? We need to push. Okay. We have to go for the targets to have a better situation in our block. Come on, guys. Hang on. Yeah. 
Well, that's the frustrating part about being a coach. You have your tactics set. So he's saying to them, in the serve, I've already told you, number nine's your target. You have to serve on her. I don't want to see the balls going on the libero, on the other players. That's the target. Find it. Well, Besheva to serve for Bulgaria. Oh, what a pickup. And the conversion gets the touch from Yordanova, but Mila Pashkuleva sacrificing her body to keep the ball in play. Have a look at this. Just getting out of way at the same time. And there's the touch. Another good ball in and an overpass. That's exactly what Bulgaria need more of. Tough serving. That's not going to count as an ace on the scorecard, but an overpass is just as good. And again, Kivo Shiska has been paying attention, being really, really dominant in that middle spot. So the substitution comes early for Romania as Zadorozhnaya gets herself on the court. Doesn't matter though, the blocking continues. It's been a masterclass in blocking. Have a look. Viva, she's got a couple of steps, closes. She's taken away all the space there with Marinova. They're just hip to hip, elbow to elbow. At least not low. Don't go like this, drop your hands. Play me the next one. Oh, Hernandez recognizing that his setters struggling a little bit to get the whip on those high balls to the outside. She's dropping her hands just a little bit. And then when she's pushing it outside, she's giving a lot of advantage to the blockers because it's dying inside. And then her hitters are kind of trying to get in a little bit late. They're swinging low. And that's why we've been seeing a lot of blocks out of Bulgaria in the last couple of points. That's a great ball in. Chance high behind. Much better. Zadorajnai reaching high, swinging hard. And the blockers caught a little off the net that time. Great set. And then you can see the hands of the blockers. They're not perfectly closed to each other. There's a little bit of space there for her to reach through. 4 9. Axinte. Does she tag it? Oh, that looks very close indeed. I think we saw a little bit of light between the ball and the court. So a 10-4 lead for Bulgaria. Balls off the net again. That time a high and a tip and a smart move. That's what... Axinte needs more out of her hitters as well. We're talking about how she hasn't been able to push the perfect ball, but look how far off the net she is. She's doing what she can with these balls. That's not a great ball in. She sets it high, gives enough space to her hitter, and then that's the smart thing to do. If you can't swing, if the blockers are there, find a tip, find a response. And that's the tip coming this time from Bulgaria. Clever move. But the whistle's blown there. She might have held that just a little bit too long. So Romania get that point, six to 10. And an ace serve. Avelina Ungurianu. And she's a staple in the Italian league. Goes with power and precision down that channel between two players. And they serve in front of all these Italians here in Torino that will know her well. Adelina having played in Busto, Cuneo, Pinarolo. Goes for it again. This time gets some help from the net. There's the tip. Well picked up. Another roll shot goes. 
Fire to the outside, past the hands. Good block from Romania. Chance again, and the second time of asking. The blockers make the stamp. Roxana Roman. Closes not just once, but twice. Same ball, same response. Romans won the Romanian Cup and Super Cup last season. Timeout called. Service, you, you remember when she's going there, a little bit more 6 1. Hey, just keep the position in front of this ball. Okay, and be ready, Shiri. At 12, a little bit okay, the top of the net in three. Okay, we touch in there. The other, we keep the ball in front. Nice, Bia. You saw the run of points there. Romania creeping back into this match, but Michelli asking his players just to focus on this serve. Where it's going to go, it's going to have a little bit more cut. To it more 6-1 if she's serving from the right side of the court it might hit the tape he's asking his middles to pay attention to that one that might fall but just focusing on getting one good ball in and converting that's up from Pashkaleva the high ball has to be rolled again out of system is Romania there Doug ball comes back over better ball in for the setter this time and look what she can do with it Get a free ball back for her team. Chance again. That one's a little inside, goes the tip. Some confusion on Bulgaria's side. Another chance for Romania through the middle this time. Still in play. But the referee does not like the look of that set from Madinova. Well, what I like about Romania's play in that rally, when the ball wasn't perfect, you see a couple of tips, a couple of rolls, and that's that miscommunication on Bulgaria's side. So rather than swing into a big block, instead they are making Bulgaria fight. Back to within one. Romania has been on a string of points here. Bulgaria needs to stop the bleeding ASAP. Ungurianu. down the line that ball kept up the swing into the hands is recycled chance again on the outside high off hands goes the number five Maria Jordanova she actually won the Romanian league in 2021 finds the right hand of the blocker Radinka Marinova finds the libero Verez. Great slowdown at the block. Ball behind from the back court, and a clever little tip. Marinova doing the right thing at the right time again. Not swinging blind. Doesn't find the perfect set for her. She's a little inside. Brings it back towards the other side. She sees that number 21, Zadarajnai, creeping in for the tip, so she sends it right back where she came from. Tough serve, well handled, cross court. Good ball in. Ngurianu puts that right on the head of her setter, and then she can add the speed. Whips it to the outside. No chance for the block to get there in time. Guterres finds the point for Romania. Deep serve, bump set. An unforced error puts another point on the side of Romania. Back to within one. High ball. Adenova off the hands. Well recycled for Romania. Comes Ungurianu, but she is stuffed out. Todorova and Jordanova together. They knew where that ball was going early days, especially once it's out of system. 
Vicente putting up a nice hittable ball, but Gordiano trying to cut a little too much into the block. Bump set to the outside. Goes off the hands, recycled. Chance again. And there's the scramble that continues to confuse Bulgaria. And I feel Romania will continue to use this more and more often. Buterez, who's in the air, catches the blockers reaching backwards. There's somebody in place to take that tip. Twelve serving thirteen. Another aggressive serve, but an even more aggressive action out of Barakova. Well, didn't want to take things. Didn't want to let things in anyone else's hands. We haven't seen a lot of dump out of her yet, and I like that. A one-handed throw. Does have the middle in front of her, but no chance of the defenders getting that. Kodorova. Bulgaria stepping up their serving aggression. It's still Romania who have those five aces. Bulgaria only one. Another tough serve from Romania. Into the hands goes the attack. High ball behind from Marinova. She also finds the hands, but meanwhile finds the line. The three meter line, which you cannot cross as a backcourt attacker. She, well, it's tough to tell from there. There's Little vision obscured, but I think her foot just tagged the line. And that brings up tied ball game at 14 apiece. Another good serve. Great response. Miroslava Paskova Kaneva on the outside. Well, she's played in Turkey, in Poland. Now plays for Athens in Greece. Captain of this Bulgarian side. Short overpassed, handled well. Ball goes to the outside, and again, it's the captain. Finds a way to convert that point. It was a free ball, so started with a tough serve to send the ball back over. She's off the net, but look at the change up there. She's going down the line just over her shoulder. Doesn't try to do too much. He's targeting the hands of the setter on the other side. Gurianu with a tight ball in. She'll get the set back. Inside off the hands. Ball behind Marinova. Rips it. A super spike indeed. Pretty much perfection in the set. She looked so comfortable there. So fast that it beats the blocker. She ends up with a one-on-one -on -one and can do pretty much anything she wants. 17-14. Bulgaria with a three-point lead here down the stretch. And Gidiano again is targeted every single time in the reception. That's clearly the target Bulgaria has and they haven't really missed. They just continue to fire it at her. She's holding her own. That time gets a great ball in. So the setter can flick it back to the opposite. Here comes Iran from the end line. Watch out for a short serve here to zone three. Looks like Hernandez has asked Great body reactions in the defense. And a quick rip out of Ungurianu. Catching the blockers off guard. That play was fast enough. But Klivoshiska just didn't have time to get all the way out there. Ungurianu finding that space between the blockers' hands and the net. 16 to 17. Another tip behind. Scramble play. 
Joust goes back on Bulgaria's side. There's the tip again. Doesn't land. Ungurianu has a chance. Goes cross. She'll take it. Ungurianu again doing some damage with enough space cross court. She is going to rip time after time. 17s. Way out of system and an ace serve. Again, Romania. Get another big ace serve. May not technically count as an ace. I think there was enough of a touch. There's that second touch. So technically in the books, it won't be an ace, but it's just good enough. Might as well be. There's no chance of an attack there. Couple of changes for Romania. Rajkovska back into it. She won the Bulgarian League in 2016. In for some reception stabilization. Time out. 19-17 for Romania. Oh, I repeat. Okay, start behind and attack this ball in the net. It's okay, just reset the net. It's okay, but we have to be patient. You don't have to uh, go with rush. Uh, we are receiving and we score point. It's not this one ball. We are receiving and we score Calm. Okay, die. No rush. Again, Michele asking his players to slow it down, have some patience. And I feel there's a little, there's going to be a little frustration after that last attack because it was a perfect ball in. Setter made the right choice. Only one blocker up. And Maria Priboshiska, who's been fantastic in the block so far. Great addition to the court. Just missing ever so slightly in that attack. So another change comes. Elena Besheva in for Paskova. The crowd starting to heat up here in Torino. Well handled. High ball outside. And a good smooth move by Madanova. She's set by her middle. So it's a high ball. The blockers have plenty of time to set up on the other side. What she does well is go over her shoulder again, targeting the smaller blocker. Gets that little bit of space between them, the ping pong, the bounce off one another, and it's out of bounds. Bulgaria has given up four errors this set. Make that five. So if you have a look at the stats, if you're only down by a couple of points, and then you have a look at the unforced errors, gives you an idea of where those points have come from. Romania, though, doing a good fight so far. They've turned things on this fourth set. Their backs are against the wall. A must win for them. Romania getting Bulgaria out of system. High ball to the outside, easily read by Vérez. Here comes the pipe, the block, and the net. Say no, sir, not today. I do like that switch up again. We've seen Romania using heavily using a couple of players in his not even on court right now, but. We haven't seen a whole lot of pipe, so that's a good time to use it, just the execution missing. Here we have got. Great block, Todorova. That is exactly what Bulgaria need more of. Tough serves. 
In a tight situation there. I think Romania is going to challenge for a net touch here. Romania was way out of system there. Not really much they could do. The advantage was always to the blockers on a tight set like that. Blocker As a blocker, all you have to do is reach your hands over and get that ball before the attacker can touch it. And that's exactly what Bulgaria did. So challenge for net touch. Let's have a look. So far, so good. No net touch. Unsuccessful challenge. In fact, that might be Bulgaria in the net. Or excuse me, Romania in the net. There at that last minute. So, point remains with Bulgaria. 20 serving, 21. Down the line again, wherever Ungurianu is, that's where the serve goes. And that's the strategy. It's paying off again. A huge block. Todorova moving quickly to the outside. Taking a couple of steps to hang with her middle. Then she's just throwing that inside arm over the net. Cuts off the angle. And the 22-year-old Zadorozhnai hasn't got a chance. Gorianu to the other side. Still targeted. There's the tip. Eyeball outside. Rolled over. Kept alive. She'll have a swing. Does it catch the floor? I think it did catch the floor, but nevertheless, play to the whistle. 22 to 21. Have another look. There's the roll. I think that was on the floor. Ungurianu. She had three aces already in the match. So there was a net touch called, I believe. Both the blockers look a little confused as to where the net touch is coming from. So a challenge on Romania's side. This could be a hugely important challenge because depending which way this point goes, someone's getting closer to the end line and Romania must win this set if they're gonna stay alive and have their chances of going to the quarterfinals stay alive with it. So is it a center line fault or a net touch called? We'll get a, a chance to see shortly. Well, if this challenge is successful. It should just be a replay because the whistle was blown mid rally. Oh, that is definitely a center line fault. Great spot by the referee. I think the blockers didn't realize that it was a center line fault. They thought maybe it was a net touch and they didn't touch the net. So there, that was where the question was coming from. Nevertheless, Well, Romania back in the driver's seat, 23-22. And 
Sorina Miklaus. Two-time Romanian League winner goes to serve. A tip behind to Todorova. A tight set, a tight squeeze. And Todorova in the net means a set point opportunity for Romania. It's a good choice to use the middle in that spot, but the ball going just tight enough. Twenty-four, twenty-two. Huge moment for Romania. Can they close out this set and stay alive? Tough swing cross court. Romania with a chance to finish it behind. No, it's Doug. Here comes Madinova, who is stuffed out of it. Rodica Buteres keeps her team alive. What a defense, first of all, by the number 15, Miklaus. And a scramble behind. Buteres basically one on one. And we are going to a fifth set. Well, we knew these two teams were well matched when we started. And it's no surprise to me. There's how the last set happened 25 22. It was a back and forth. Looked like Bulgaria had this match in the bag halfway through the set. But Romania with their backs against the wall. Never say never. There are the stats for the set. Five blocks for Bulgaria, but still when it counted, that last one from Romania was important. Two aces as well. Have a look at the errors. 11 opponent errors. Those are basically errors that were committed by Bulgaria given to Romania. So 11 of those 25 points were just They've already played four. This is their fifth and final pool play match. They must win to even have a chance of making it out of pool play. If Bulgaria win, they're one step closer to cementing that second position in the pool. Well, set number five, just about ready to get underway. Maria Jordanova will serve the first ball for Bulgaria. Again, as with all match long, she's been finding Ungurianu, and the block follows. Down the sideline, really sharp. And the block of the number eight, Barakova, is strong. Barakova's played in Le Canet 
Shashov, Poland, Alba Blaj, Romania, and Zurich. And now Israel. Second time of asking. Ungrianu continues to be the strongest attacker on Romania's side. Bulgaria are relentless in targeting her in the reception. They're trying to get her tired. They're trying to get her out of the offense. And it's really not working. Romania is still feeding her. Maxinte. Falls off the net for Bulgaria. And then it goes off the hands. Besheva. High and hard against the block. Catch is almost a one-on-one -on -one there, as you can see, since the ball's coming from so far behind. Middle blocker stayed one step. Middle blocker gets an ace. Mira Todorova. Again, veteran player on this Bulgarian squad. Zero spin on that serve. She's right there between the two players. Ball's dropping out of thin air. Goes for the same serve again. And the blockers are ready for it. Well, now Romania and Bulgaria are in a very different situation. Tough serving, tough blocking. Wait, wait only a little bit, a little loop, and she cannot do anything. And then you, with a little loop, you can come inside and, and, and cut it a little bit more short. Yeah, one up. Okay. No, no. Okay, now no, but if they don't serve here, 6 5, you also have the X or the Q. Eh? Oh, Bulgaria have had a game plan and they are sticking to it. This serve landing over and over again on Ungariano, making it really tough for her to continue being top scorer, but there's a good step in. Ball goes back on Romania's side and another point in the pocket of Bulgaria. There's the tip, looking for the side cross. She's a little tight to the net, and so is the ball. Five to one, Todorova still at the line. Again goes cross court. Burianu rips it off the hands. And I like this change up here. Romania kind of allowing Ungurianu out of the reception. They're trying to step over and take a little bit more responsibility from where she's standing and allowing her the ability to get more of an approach, get more of an attack and stay top scorer in the game. Well, there's some commotion going on as the Italian squad walks into the stadium. But we are squarely focused here on this match, which has yet to conclude. Six to two, Bulgaria making a good step towards victory here in the fifth. The tip throw is good. And again, Marinova and company continue bombing their way towards the end line. Those throws have been working time after time to get Romania on their heels. Will it be enough to get Bulgaria over the end line? Another ace serve. Petja Barakova goes to the side again where Ungurianu is sitting. The ball is up in the air but not able to keep it alive. So three points and a change of ends at eight to two. 
Well, this is the time Romania need to respond. How can they change things up? How can the libero perhaps step in, take more responsibility on the reception, allow Ungurianu into a spot where she can just focus solely on attacking? That's, that would be my strategy if I were the libero on Romania's side at the moment. Take more responsibility. 8-2. Still Ungarianu targeted. Cross court swung, stays alive. Free ball. To the outside, off the hands. Buterez. Smart play to go high off the block. And in comes Miklaus. She was instrumental in the last win of the last set. Part of that bronze medal European Golden League team in 2022. Tough serve. Chance for the block. And yes, Romania. Finding some success at the net. Starts with a tough serve. The setter having the bump set. And then trying to cover. But it's the number 21, Zagoroznai, who puts it back on the floor. Serve lands. Goes wide. Marinova asking immediately for a touch. Will there be a challenge? Well, there's the buzzer. So it sounds like there might be a challenge. Or maybe not. On we play. Bulgaria get the point. No need for a challenge. Nine to four. High ball behind, great swing by the 22-year-old. Zadorozhnai takes a high ball, a lot of width on it. She can come in and power past. There's Ine on the sideline. We haven't seen her for a couple of sets so far. She was contributing hugely in the first couple of sets, but sometimes it's just a matter of changing the personnel, changing the the look for your opponent. Great pick up by the libero. Bulgaria finds some space deep into the court. Barakova. And Michelli. Not sure if he just didn't like that set or didn't like that set. Calling a double on somebody, probably on the other team. 10-5. There's a great pickup chance behind into hands. What a cover. But the block is strong. And it's number five, Iwan, to send the ball back to Bulgaria. She's in combination with Buterez there. Good high block. Buterez at 190 centimeters, Ioan 187. Between the two of them, make somewhat of a wall. Two blocks there for Buterez. There's the double sub. Reverse Radu into set. And Inez back in the mix. Six to 10, a four point deficit for Romania. Serve gets Bulgaria off the net. Scramble play. Fast set behind, off the hands and out. And there is what Ine has been missing from the court. Back to within three. That's a timeout for Bulgaria. Okay, what's 
she will be in this pool. It's the same as Mira. If we are going, if we are going to play this ball behind, eh? okay, then she will be deep. Eh? If we come back in position four, eh? you have to be right to go in position four. When she, if she will cross the tip, if the ball is good, you have to go to, then to attack. Eh? Okay, if there is something strange, opposite will touch the ball. We move in position four, and we are ready to deep as pipe there together. Okay? Nine, 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 nine. Michelli predicting some pipe attacks from Romania. That hasn't been a huge part of their offense, but now that Ine is back in, she's going to be the go-to. Don't want his team to watch out for her no matter where she is on the court. She in combination with Ungurianu, tough to slow down. Askova back into the mix for Bulgaria. Fast set behind, goes off the hands. And again, it's Todorova to do the damage. Her reaction plays are some of the best in the game. She is not waiting to see what the other team does. She's proactive, grabs that ball from the net, throws it back down. 11 to 7. Eyeball, there's Inet, off hands. Good slowdown by the block. And it's Marinova finishing strong down the line. Have another look at that. Good touch on the block. Todorova keeping things alive. Are we looking for a touch? So the ball given immediately to Romania. So a backcourt attack is called. Did her foot touch that center line? Or sorry, that three meter line, I guess I should say. Center line is the one at the net. It looked pretty close there in the last replay, but so tough to tell. We'll have to have the slow motion to look at it again. I mean, that was a huge attack, though, down the line. Saw herself a lot of space there between the antenna and the block. Here's the challenge. Woo! That is closer than it gets. No fault called. Successful challenge by Michelli. Well, you can see his feet there too as he is so close to it. If anyone's going to see it, it was him. So, everyone saw the same video. And the point goes deservedly back to Bulgaria after a huge smash down the line from Madinova. She's now got the serve in hand, 11 to seven. Great ball in. Romania using the middle. They have not been able to do that very often throughout this match. But with the new setter in, Radu wants to get it firing here. And as she gets that perfect ball in, that's the moment to do it. Todorova, a little frustrated with herself. Eyeball outside. Stuff block. Romania are not letting go of the possibility of taking this match. Good movement by both players. And the press in. Roman using her arms inside. And I, I keep harping on about that inside arm. That's what middle blockers all know too well that inside arm has to be low and tight. Bulgaria is off the net. Todorova is off the mark. And Romania back to within one. That's a tough set from that position. And back to the sideline we go for another timeout. 
start from behind and going. Okay, from behind and going. Okay, and then we have to help also in cover. Eh? Everyone eh? helping cover. Bulgaria still in a one point advantage, but Romania stepping it up, and you see the change of personnel. Fresh setter, fresh opposites. And Romania getting a few blocks, a few points in a row to get themselves back within striking distance. 10 to 11. Deep, the ball comes over. Ine finds the end line. Yes, she does. Oh. Referee says no. We get a challenge. Ah, uh, from where I was sitting, that ball was very much in, but we'll get another chance to see it. Ooh, closer from that angle, it's closer. Well, Romania need it to be in. Bulgaria hope it to be out. We'll see the challenge. That ball's in. Yes, indeed. Beautiful swing by Ine. He's been hugely influential all match long and continues to do so here late in the fifth set. Elizabeth Ine. Now with 16 points for her team. Tied up at 11s. This fifth set is way closer than imagined. A couple of moments ago, but Bulgaria are not completely dormant. The standing float serve puts some pressure. Gets the setter off the net, but Marinova finding the cross court deep. Once again, ball is way out of system. Romania and Ungurianu with not much to do there in the high ball. And it all starts with that tough serve. Another timeout called. This time, Romania taking a break. Well, the timeout probably just to slow down the momentum of Bulgaria, who now have gotten two points in a row. But I like that out of the coach, Guillermo Naranjo Hernandez, saying, "Here's what's going to work. If you're in a if you're in a pinch." Tip right here, because that's what's going to fall. Some changes on Bulgaria's side. In comes Elena Besheva. To stabilize the block a little bit in for Paskova. There's a roll. Bulgaria with a chance to swing off the hands and out of bounds. Smart play to keep things rolling. Finding the hands, finding the floor. Set point, match point for Bulgaria. Tough serve to the libero, ball behind to Ine who gets off the hands, and that'll do nicely to keep Romania fighting. But, and they hold on for two more set match points. While the double sub was reversed, which means Ine no longer on the court. Maxinte and Zadorozhnai into the mix. That 
double sub just to keep the center backcourt. Three attackers in the front. Match points, Bulgaria. Sinte to serve. A lot of pressure on her. Does well to get Bulgaria out of system, but they have a swing in the hands and out of bounds. And that is how it's done. Bulgaria have knocked Romania out of the pool play phase with a win in five sets. What a fight it was. Especially that last point there was the scramble. But on the outside, into hands, out of bounds. And Romania are headed home. Well, they had a fantastic few performances. Romania beat Croatia. They lost 3-2 to Switzerland. Had a big five-set victory over Bosnia and Herzegovina after losing to Italy in the opening match. So they've now played all five of their pool play matches. And the last one, a 3-2, no surprise. Bulgaria taking that last set. It was a tight one, 15 to 12. But there's a confirmation of all the scores. It was back and forth battle between these two teams. For Bulgaria to come out on top. Here's a look at those stats again. 15 blocks by Bulgaria to 12 of Romania. A good stat for both teams. Six aces for Romania. Bulgaria with three. The error is pretty much neck and neck. Both teams committing way too many errors for the likes of a high-level team. But eventually, the fate was sealed. Congratulations on the victory, a tough one. Your comment on the match. Uh, thank you uh, from uh, all the team. So the match was in intense. It was very emotional for everybody. It was uh, tough for sure because they are playing for the same like us. But we take our victory. We do our positions that we need to do. And have you seen, we just cheer up. <laughs> now thinking maybe about the game against uh, Switzerland, last one in the group. Tomorrow it's a new day. Perhaps it will be the same emotional game, but we are going for the win, so tomorrow is a new day. Thank you very much. Good luck. Well, we heard there from middle blocker Maria Krivoshiska. She was fantastic there at the end. Five kills and four blocks to help her team seal the victory. And there you go. They are still sitting in second position behind Italy, who are about to play. They have one more match. But Romania, now having played all five matches, are in third position at the pool. And a couple more teams with a chance to overtake them. Well, tomorrow is going to be a really quick turnaround for Bulgaria to face Switzerland. They've gone 2-2 two and two in pool play, as you saw there. They beat Croatia and Romania, lost Italy and Bosnia and Herzegovina. It's going to be a crucial match.
Well, congratulations again to Bulgaria. Be sure to tune in to all your favorite European teams battling it out over the next few weeks to see who will make it to the CEV Eurovolley Finals in Belgium on September 1st and 3rd. For now, from all of us here at the CEV, thanks for watching. My name's Key Michael. We'll catch you on the next one.